Hi everyone, back here again for another video. Today, let me show you the note-taking apps I use on my iPad Pro. I know there are tons of apps out there, but here I will focus on these three apps. First is the Apple's Notes apps. Next, the OneNote free version and the ever-famous GoodNotes. So let's start off with the Notes app. Notes app can be accessed by double-tapping the pencil on the lock screen. But honestly, I barely use it as most of the time, I continue writing on an existing note. And the double tap on the lock screen, it creates a new note. I did not use the app much until recently. With iPadOS, a lot of improvements were introduced and now has a lot of potential. Though I feel Apple still has some work to do for the Notes app. The ecosystem is one thing Apple is really proud of. And the Notes app being able to sync in all of my devices makes me think I should be using this more. And it's free anyway, so why not? It's very nice and smooth to write on the Notes app. It's very responsive and there's no lag here. There are different tools available which for some apps, you have to pay for it or you have to get the premium app to have it. You know, such as the tools as the ruler, the lasso and the, the pen sizes. Though as you see here, it's sometimes mm, it's not working as I want it to be. Maybe it's a bug or I just don't know how to use it correctly. One thing I noticed in the Notes app is that the scaling or view, I don't know, however it is called, it changes when I put it in full screen and everything just becomes bigger. I don't know if some people prefer it this way, but I surely personally don't like it. Handwriting recognition is good and drawing on the Notes app is very much possible. It's nothing close to using Procreate, but it'll work for drawing for notes or in your work. Another function which is similar to the other apps and it also works in typing mode is I can use the three finger tap and swipe to left to undo and swipe to the right to redo. Writing and typing both run well using the notes app. I can also insert photos in my notes. But what I cannot do is combine all of this in the same line or area. It's either one or the other, which I find it limiting compared to the other apps. Also, there's no zoom. I don't know why. This is one thing all of the other apps have. But should I be complaining when it's a free app? What do you think? Now moving on to the next app, the ever famous GoodNotes. Why I say it's famous, it's because I see many videos out there using good notes for journaling, like Ahom Paperlug. And by the way, I like watching her videos. The ASMR and the way she journals is really fun to watch. And for note taking, Samuel Suresh has mad skills when using good notes, and his videos are very nice. I purchased GoodNotes out of impulse, but I think it's a good purchase considering the experience I get out of it. There's just one thing I really don't like about this app is that it seems my handwriting looks worse than it should. <laughs> I, I write the same way here and in the other apps, but I just don't know why it looks different here. Anyway, there are more positives for this app that make me use it more than the Notes app. I like the layout of GoodNotes and how it can organize my notes in different notebooks. I can also do a keyword search and it will find even with my bad handwriting. Even with limited pens, I can still do my kid-like basic drawings. 
I need more practice for sure, but for others, like I mentioned, Samuel Suresh, drawing on good notes is very much possible. Writing on good notes is really smooth and it's similar with the notes app. There's no lag that I notice. The only thing that I really notice is that my handwriting just really looks worse than I think it should. I mean, it's not really a nice handwriting, but it's not that bad too. In GoodNotes, I can zoom in and use the zoom window too, something missing from the Notes app. And same with the Notes app, I can use the three finger tap and swipe left to undo and swipe right to redo. So if I had to choose between GoodNotes and Notes app, I will most certainly go for the GoodNotes. Last one is the OneNote app in the iPad Pro. I think this is one of the most underrated apps for note taking. I myself have not used it much in my iPad, but I have been using this for years on my work laptop typing away my notes at work, and I just love using it. What I need to appreciate about OneNote is first, it's a free app, and what comes with this free app are almost the same functions at GoodNotes which is a paid app and, and not really free. I can obviously write in OneNote and use different pens. I can change the size and also change colors. And the tapping on the Apple Pencil works to change to the eraser and back to the last pen. And do you agree? My handwriting looks a bit better here in OneNote than in GoodNotes. Now changing the pens can also allow me to do my basic drawings good for chatting down ideas and writing down notes. In OneNote, if I change it to full view, it doesn't change the scaling of my text or my drawing. Unlike in the Notes app, it remains the same size. I can also insert photos and annotate directly on the photo. Something I can do in GoodNotes, but not in the Notes app. Also, I can type on the same area as the photo and even type on my drawings itself. So I think OneNote then is a very good app for students who need to write, type, draw, annotate all at the same time. Zooming in is available and the pages seem to be limitless. And lastly, writing on OneNote in the iPad is surprisingly good. It's really smooth and there's no lag at all. And I think I proved my point that my handwriting is not that bad and it looks better than it looks in good notes. So for me, I think all these three apps are great. The notes app have a lot of catching up to do, but still a usable one. Good notes is definitely one of the best apps out there, but it's not free and my handwriting looks bad on it. OneNote would be the best among the three as it's free but comes with premium functions. I will definitely try to use more, especially for my idea board for my YouTube videos, but I have to use it along with my good notes as I don't want my purchase to go to waste. So that's it. Thanks for watching.